Hey you guys, so today I'm going to be sharing how I reorganize my kids' toy area in our small living room space. I um, just want to give you guys some organizing ideas if you have toys um, that are piling up in your living room and you're just trying to figure out how to get it in a better organization system. I'm actually doing that myself, so join me today as I reorganize their toy area. Stay tuned! Okay, so here's just a quick tour of their tour area. When you come in the front door right here, um, it's like right here is their toy area. So we have like puzzles and books over here and the kids have a really hard time just keeping it organized and in place. And then we have like the play mat area where they can sit and read books and do different things and their Lego table. And then some pillows um, just to kind of relax in a blanket. And then here's the toy box. Dun, dun, dun. You guys, this thing, <laughs> it was awesome when my husband made it. Uh, he made this when my oldest son, who's six, was two years old. And it's just not feasible anymore. It's just not functional for the kids. They've tried their best to keep it organized. Many, many times we've tried different um, systems, but they always just end up throwing everything in there. So we are actually getting a organization system for toys and we'll be swapping that out and this is a bunch of um, my daughter's preschool things and also my son's school things when he was doing remote learning so we have some of his things in there and then also she has just like some preschool stuff that we'll be doing when he starts back school, school soon and this is like her cash register in her little kitchen area and more preschool stuff and so I just have like this little old random um, table here. I'm gonna swap this out eventually and put a um, a child table set here for that's a two seater. And I want to do like a floor lamp back there in that corner and get a smaller organization system right here where she can store all of her school things for preschool and also my son's. And so yeah. Um, if you guys just stick around, um, you'll be able to see how we flip this area and just make it a little bit better, a little bit more organized for the kids. So here I'm just going to be going through the toy chest and my daughter is here helping me. We're just going to dump out everything pretty much and see what we can actually save and what actually just needs to be thrown out. And so. Um, yeah, it's a big job. You guys see all of these things. So I'm gonna use this box as my trash and my daughter was trying to negotiate the broken jump rope there <laughs> um, So yeah, she's gonna help me and we're just gonna go through a few things together. probably wondering why I'm throwing the stroller out. <laughs> it's actually broken. It has been for a little while and my daughter has been trying to hold on to it. So I'm teaching her to get rid of things. And so yeah, she actually was pretty good about it. So now we're just separating um, some of the kitchen items so that it'll be easier for me to put in the bins. Here is our progress. My daughter was practically swimming in the toy chest. It was so funny. <laughs> Daddy's gonna move this toy chest out the way. 
Naya, we have to stay clear. Now get your blanket. So my hubby was just helping out, getting the toy chest out the way, sweeping the area, and this is how everything is turning out. And um, we still have a long way to go, but we are definitely making progress. And I'm so thankful for his help. He helped me a ton with this project, and of course my daughter and my son whenever he was home from school. She's such a great helper, oh my goodness. She literally cleaned out this whole clear area, like moving everything in the living room. Mm -hmm. That looks so much better. And look how much space it saves. Wow, it's so compact. And then you wanna put the letters up? Yeah. Hold on, Naya. I know, that's what it's for. Push it all the way up to it. Oh, okay, stop that. Yeah, that I'm, gonna, I'm moving that and I'm going to do the white one. So it'll be better. Awesome. All right, Naya, now we got to figure out how we want to organize this at some point. But for right now, this is what, what we have. We still got to go through some more of this stuff here because you got to dump some of this, this stuff. She has so many kitchen toys. Now for the fun part, we're gonna go through all of the things that we were able to separate. And I have the Play-Doh things, the magnets, the blocks, and we're just gonna try to get those things in bins. And so yeah, we have books and puzzles and other stuff, tons of stuff, but we'll figure it out as we go. So first we're gonna start with the blocks. I think it looks so beautiful to put colorful blocks in a white bin. It just really makes it stand out for the play area. My daughter is the best little helper, you guys. She was so thrilled this entire time and didn't complain at all about things being thrown out. I was very surprised. She took it very well. So she's helping me fill up the bins here. And we're really just trying to see what fits as we go. I really had no set plan. Um, so yeah, you just gotta see what'll fit, what'll go with the bins that you have and make it work. Moving on to the kitchen items here. I do believe we had some kitchen items and maybe a couple of play-doh items mixed in so I was trying to show my daughter that um, which ones we were actually doing she was just adding the play-doh items in so this is the, actually the kitchen bin and so we are sorting through the pile and this I found this to be a, a, the easiest way to do this is to dump everything and then sort through what you're gonna um, put in each bin and so now we're just gonna add all the fruits and veggies to just put back in her kitchen instead of putting it in the bin so that she can grab those easily. Now we are on to our Play-Doh bin. Very similar items, but not exactly the same. So that's what I was teaching my daughter here. The kitchen items go in the kitchen bin and the Play-Doh items go in the Play-Doh bin. So this is so good um, for younger kids to just learn how to sort things and also um, just getting used to putting things back where they belong. Now we're just sorting through the Lego blocks and my hubby was such a great help. He helped whenever he could, whenever he was available.
All right, so we want to give everybody an update. We went through a ton of stuff and threw out a lot of stuff. This is, of course, our dump pile. And we still have the books that we want to get sorted out and a few other things that we need to go through. So this was the old bin system here that we're no longer going to use. And also the toy chest, we'll be getting rid of this stuff. And we have some toys back here that we are going to get into our new system over That's here. What I and so I'll go through all this in a little bit once we complete it. But here's just a little update on where we are. So we're going to continue to go through some things and get the bins completely filled up. Right, Naya? We're going to get all the bins filled up? Yes. Yes. Yeah. She's so excited that she loves this new area already. So I'm just showing um, some of the puzzles. The first one is a really huge puzzle. And so I want to make it to where the children will be able to get to it easily and not have the box closed. And so I'm just cutting um, along the sides of this Noah's art puzzle. And I'm gonna keep the bottom of the box because it's like a 100 or 500 piece puzzle. I can't remember, it's a lot of pieces. And so um, I don't want them to like get them all lost. So I'm just gonna leave it in the box and just secure it by adding the rest of the top of the box to it and also the manual for it. And so this is how it turned out. And this is the first puzzle. I just cut out a piece from the box so the kids will know which puzzle it is. And they really are really good at this puzzle, so they didn't need a bigger picture. And then my daughter just wanted to show their little wooden puzzle. And it fit in there perfectly. And we put the Noah's art puzzle at the bottom. And this is how it turned out. Ready to go whenever they're ready to take it out. And these came in very, very nice boxes. They are very sturdy, so I kept these in the boxes. the big test to see if everything will fit on our shelving unit here. <laughs> and it works out pretty well. And so this chalkboard here, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with it. I put it under but I ended up moving it and I'll show you at the end what I ended up doing with that. And so moving on to my daughter's um, bins. This is just like all of her baby doll um, Barbie stuff. She doesn't have that many things, so um, everything should fit in here properly, and that's just what we were doing here. baby doll stuff. Naya, lay her flat. Lay her all the way down. Yeah, like that. Okay, now put her back on the shelf. We'll see how that works. Put her on the shelf. You have to turn the bin the other way. You see how the other bins are? get used to it good job okay what's next all the little random stuff okay we'll probably yeah get the green bin there you go lift it up and out that's how we do it all right up and out you want me to pull it out go ahead and dump it out we're going to try our best one So these are just our practice letters you're able to like touch. Where is the mic? It's super Everything like that. You can make. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. You can do letter sounds, uppercase. We have uppercase and lowercase. So now I want you to separate the uppercase, which is the blue, and then the lowercase is the red. And let's find, let's put them in order. So we need A, B, C. Okay, now we have to go through several books, see what, if we're going to pick them all, 
and then just how we're gonna do things. Eventually, I want to get like some floating shelves right here and put the books up there. Um, I think that'll be a good idea, especially with a baby once he starts to um, walk and stuff. He'll probably tear up the books. <laughs> so we're going to get a floating shelf right here at some point. So ready, Nida, to tackle the books? Yes. Yes. Tackle. That just tackle. means we're gonna go through them. <laughs> So our table set has come, and Daddy is putting it together with Amir, our oldest son. <laughs> Are you helping? Yes. <laughs> you look like you're doing something with that screwdriver, or whatever it is. <laughs> it's an Allen wrench. Allen wrench. Okay, <laughs> there we go. This is such a cute little table set. We got it from Target. Look. Okay. And I'll leave it below. Look. I, I know. It's cute. Sit in it now. We put it for the first day. We'll come back when it's finished. Okay. Get out of camera. So here my husband was just measuring everything for the floating shelves. And we got these off Amazon. I'll leave it in the description for you guys. Um, but I can't wait for you to see how it turned out. They actually worked out very well. They actually did core shelves, but I used them for the books. So here I'm just trying to get the book sorted out on the shelf and um, just figure out how I want it to be. I really wasn't certain. I was just figuring it out as I went. This part was actually fun to see how the shelves came together and be able to put the books on top and I chose the whitewashed shelves. They had a few different colors, a wood texture and a gray texture one, but I think these turned out great. Yep, I can. What about the other two? Oh, you I you. Good job. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. So this is the toy organizer that we decided to go with um, to swap uh, our tour chest out for and we absolutely love it. I got this off of Facebook Marketplace. A lot of people are actually selling these organizers right now. So if you're looking for this unit, check fake Facebook Marketplace before you decide to buy it online. You never know. But I did buy white bins just to give it some contrast because it did have like really dark blue bins to go with it um, and then I just kept the rest. The green, the red were fine and the light blue. And the shelving unit turned out really awesome. 
A lot of their books are really old, but I just put the ones that are smaller on there. So let's go through the bins so you can see. This is just my daughter's little um, nail polish just for kids. It wipes right off in like less than an hour. Um, I'm eventually going to get her a nail polish organizer from Dollar Tree, but last time I went they didn't have it. And then we just have like some letter blocks, uppercase, lowercase, some magnets, and they're blocks. They use these really often and they love it. And then the Legos. I'm going to show you what I did with that huge Lego table that was originally right here. Um, I'll show you that in a little bit. And they have their little puppy um, dog cage here. And then down here we have Play-Doh, all their Play-Doh stuff is in here, um, just molds and that kind of thing. And I do plan on putting little labels on each bin, and um, I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. But so far, they've do been doing pretty good with putting things back. I try to encourage them to get one bin at a time, and that's been working pretty good. And so this is my daughter's bin, like all her, her little girl stuff, Barbie stuff, baby stuff. And that's awesome. And then my son has like his random stuff. Um, in this bin, and it's like little small like, little things that he likes to build, and just some random things in there. So this is my daughter's um, letter activity that we use for learning different letter sounds and numbers, and I also use it to um, teach her her name, and I have a video for that where I taught her how to write her name using this magnet board. And um, I will leave that below so you can go and watch that. Check it out. And also we have these letters um, that the kids can like touch. My sister gave me these. She runs a Montessori school and so she gave these to me. And um, yeah, Zanaya uses these to practice her letter sounds and tracing with her finger. And um, it also comes with the lowercase ones in red. So we love these. If I can find them, I'll leave it below. I'll ask my sister where we can get them from. And then this is just like all their kitchen things. It used to just be all over the place over here. I don't know if you guys remember that. And so we it has its own bin now. So now she just takes it out and she can just get what she needs out of there. And then as far as all of their music things, that's what this bin is. And you guys, we did a total toy purge a little while ago so they don't have as much toys anymore and it's so much more enjoyable um, for them not like they don't feel like overwhelmed like oh what can I play with now you know so this has been working out great not having too much stuff so yeah just the music stuff they use for praise and worship in the morning and even during the day and then we have all of their puzzles this is one of their biggest puzzles I have it in a bag right now <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it that way, but that's been working. He's okay, Zanaya. <laughs> but, um, and then I have some of their, like, smaller ones back here in this bin. And then we just have that little random vacuum cleaner. i um, not sure if I'll put up a hook right here and let it hang somehow. Um, but, yeah, it's good for now right here. And so, moving on to her little kitchen area, I just left her little pots here on the stove. And I left um, just a little bit of her food that she likes to cook with. And then we have some random magnet letters here. I really didn't have a place for it, but I may move it and put it somewhere else. Um, and then her little thing for Play-Doh, and kind of works out perfect. She'll just grab this bin and use that. So moving on, um, this is like her little Barbie register. She uses it pretty, pretty often, so I just keep it there for now. And this is the drawer unit that I swapped out for that long one that I had here. And you guys, I actually already had this upstairs in my in my closet. And um, it was really old and dirty. And so, I mean, it still is old, but you can't tell because <laughs> I cleaned it up really good. So in the top drawer, I just have like some random things like markers. And there were some crowns. I'm not sure what they did with them and like some coloring books and some binders so this it's just something they use often when they want to color i think it's also like some stickers in here yeah as you can see she's already decorated her register and then in this drawer i have um 
some extra binders here for different things we use for her preschool. And this is her preschool drawer. So I still need to put some labels as well on this, but for now they they know which drawer is which, but um, I will still do it soon. And so yeah, we do a lot of her, um, this is actually my son's old blend book, but she's starting to use it now, so that's worked out great. And she has like her little journal, this is her prayer journal. We have prayer time and she draws pictures of what God shows her. And so that is so cute, you guys, she loves prayer time. And then just a lot of her um, preschool workbooks. We're using this one right now, the Highlights Kindergarten Big Fun. And she's not in kindergarten yet. She is four years old and will be in kindergarten in a year. But um, she's pretty pretty advanced. We've been doing a lot of learning since she was little, little baby. Um, so, yeah, she actually finished her big preschool book. Um, a few months ago so she's completely done with this one and she loved this book this was a really good book if you guys want me to do like a review on it let me know and I will okay so I'm not gonna bore you with all of her things so that's her drawer and then my son he, he's in school so he doesn't really have much of anything in here but his little airplanes and things like that and he also has a desk over there um, when he was doing remote learning so this bottom drawer is all of our craft things. So we have a bunch of paint, paintbrushes, and different things we will be doing. I have a tablecloth back here so she doesn't mess up her new table set. <laughs> um, and a lot of paint, a lot, a lot of paint. And some beads we'll be doing, making necklaces to work on her fine motor skills and things. Um, let's see what else do I have? Oh yeah, a couple of t-shirts, old t-shirts we used to put on before they paint. Okay, so this is how the table set turned out. You guys, it's super cute. This is the Kid Craft table. Amazon and Target sell it. Um, but we found it a little bit cheaper on Target than Amazon. So I will leave that below. And eventually, I'm going to, I'm going to change out these curtains. They are really long and they've always, they've always been here since we moved here. They were just here. Um, so we do plan on changing these. I want to just get some white curtains and that aren't so long as well. And so for the bigger books, I decided to just put them right here where they can just easily access. And my daughter used this, uses this, my little counting book, um, almost every single day. And then we just have a bunch of other books back there. So this is the closet. And so now you guys, I ended up getting this, uh, magazine holder off of Facebook marketplace for five bucks. Yes, five dollars. I love Facebook Marketplace. People give away such great things or sell really good things as well. So, um, this is their uh, Melissa and Doug. It's like a really cool activity um, stencil projects they can do. They can draw different things using stencils. So they use it, use this pretty often. My husband recently bought this for my daughter. It's like where she can sit and create shapes using her hands and these little um, plastic pieces that come in it. And it has like cards for different shapes that she ends up creating. And for this is the paper airplanes. It's so big. <laughs> That's what you saw in my son's drawer. So he has like a whole manual of how to make different airplanes. It's pretty cool. I think my husband got it from Aldi. And then just more like coloring pads and coloring sheets and this is a huge art kit that my son has. He's really into drawing and art and um, all things crafts. And so he uses this a lot. And then we have a whiteboard and a chalkboard back there. And so yeah, this little stand was awesome. I have no idea how much this would cost brand new, but I could look up and see and leave it below. But um, five bucks, check Facebook Marketplace. You never know what you'll get. And so over here is where I ended up just sticking the Lego table. They don't use it every day, so I just, I decided to put it away. Um, if they really want it, they'll take it out, and then they'll grab their bucket there with the, um, the Legos, and they will sit right here, and they will play with it. So yeah, so that is it for the tour, you guys. I'm so thrilled and excited and thankful for how everything turned out over here. And um, I also really love the floor lamp. I forgot to mention you guys remember it was like 
this table right here. It's an old table and a little lamp. It's gone. <laughs> um, and now we got this cute little gold lamp, floor lamp that was 10 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, um, the only thing that we bought brand new was the table set and the floating shelves. And the floating shelves were from Amazon as well and I can leave that below for you. And um, yeah, that's it. Everything else we already had or we got it from Facebook Marketplace. How are you liking your new play area, Zanaya? Good. What do you like most about it? I like to make a cook on a play mat. Yeah, it's so much fun, isn't it? I can make tea and pizza. Here's the pizza in here. With Ooh. the pepperonis and the cheese. Yummy. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. If you like to see more um, content on faith, family, parenting, and pretty much everything motherhood. So until next time, bye-bye.